What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And uh, this is the second video that I'm recording today uh, because uh, we have an amazing news. And uh, the first video is completely dedicated to the uh, situation around the Congress letter that was signed by 74 uh, Congress members. And I have to say that it is a 17% of uh, the entire House of uh, Representatives. And uh, this is the first time ever when uh, constituents uh, have uh, this uh, type of uh, support from Congress uh, in response uh, to the issue that happened uh, just recently. So, and uh, before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm. It is the easiest way how we can push this video forward to the broader audience and eventually it will help us to win this battle. So guys, as already mentioned, it is the second video uh, that I am recording today in regards to this issue. And if you haven't seen uh, my first video, I highly encourage you to do it because uh, there you will find uh, the basically the first part of uh, this entire uh, situation. And uh, for now, I want uh, to pay your attention on the letter itself and I will show you uh, my takeaway on uh, this letter. But again, before we dive deep into the letter, I want to say a huge shout out uh, to uh, the people of our community, to the community members uh, who prepared uh, this uh, letter with the uh, Ralph Norman's uh, office and run Ralph Norman himself. And the heroes from the community are following Don Fis, Anna, Andrew, Patrick and others. And guys, I have to say that uh, we are extremely strong community. And this is the first time ever when uh, the people, ordinary people uh, that was united uh, by uh, this uh, issue, the issue of MMTLP uh, saga, we achieved uh, these results. So, and uh, let's uh, continue with the letter itself. You can find it on Ralph uh, Norman's uh, a Twitter account, or you can find it uh, on uh, mmtlpresources.com at the very top of uh, this uh, screen. And uh, let me show you this in details. Dear Chairman Gassler and Mr. Cook, we write to request that the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority and the Securities and Exchange Commission review events surrounding Metamaterials Series A preferred shares. As you know, MMTLP was created during a merger between Metamaterials and Torchlight Energy Resources to provide preferred stock dividends to TRCH shareholders. MMTLP shares uh, began trading on the OTC market in 2021. In the summer of 2022, this SEC received and subsequently approved a Form S1 and amendments to spin off a portion of the company, Metamaterials, into a new company. Next Bridge Hydrocarbons. On December the 9, 2022, FINRA issued a U3 halt on trading in a company's stock, preventing shareholders from making further trades. Since the halt, constituent investors have contacted members of Congress regarding the spin-off transaction and the subsequent halt on trading. Specifically, we have received more than 40,000 letters from concerned investors. And uh, this number is uh, the mind-boggling number because it is the first time when uh, Congress members received this tsunami of letters in regards to this issue. So, many of our constituents have concerns regarding the circumstances surrounding the U3 halt and level of short selling in MMTLP. As you know, the securities industry is regulated by a disclosure-based regime and transparency is a paramount to FINRA's and SEC goals of protecting investors and ensuring market integrity. We believe uh, it is appropriate that FINRA and the SEC review these market events and determine what, if any, wrongdoing may have occurred in order to dispel misinformation and properly safeguard investors. Uh, please provide a response to following questions and results no later than January 31st, 2024. So, we have uh, about one month uh, till this major deadline 
And definitely, I have to say that uh, if uh, nothing happens, uh, we will see a subpoena. Because uh, let me show you uh, several pages further. Uh, this, uh, by the way, this letter has nine uh, pages, and uh, the letter itself uh, is uh, on a couple of, on, let's say, three pages, three th first pages. But other uh, pages uh, completely dedicated to the signatures of uh, the members of Congress. And uh, let me quote you these questions in details. One, provide a timeline of trading of MMTLP on the OTC markets. The actions taken by the SEC self-regulatory organizations, the issuers, the transfer agent and any other relevant parties during the time MMTLP was traded and the transaction that produced next bridge hydrocarbon shares. And guys, I have to say that while I was reading this letter, I found out that uh, all of uh, these uh, 19, I guess, uh, 16 uh, questions was uh, made extremely thoroughly. And these questions uh, you can divide by several topics. One part of these questions uh, are dedicated uh, to the FINRAS and SEC actions in regards uh, to uh, MMTLP saga. And the second part is dedicated uh, to the general work uh, of uh, FINRA and SEC and uh, is dedicated to the misinformation. And uh, I will show you that some of these questions uh, are written in an extremely precise manner. And uh, FINRA and SEC basically uh, don't uh, have any choice uh, than to admit that they were a wrongdoers and they did nothing in order to help the MMTLP uh, resolution. So, second, the former CEO of Torchlight Energy Resources stated that MMTLP was never designed to trade. Please provide a detailed explanation including the relevant statutory authority and procedures that allowed for MMTLP shares to trade on the OTC market. Three. Provide the relevant statutory authority, jurisdiction and adherence to established industry standards regarding the U3 halt of MTLP issued on December the 9, 2022. And guys, as you can see, these three questions uh, show us that uh, regulators had to solve this problem back in the days and uh, they had to start uh, uh, to solve this problem, even uh, when uh, the MMTLP uh, shares uh, w became tradable. And uh, this happened uh, back in 2021, so exactly two years ago. Uh, and let me quote you further. Four, provide the exact date and circumstances surrounding FINRA's determination to implement the U3 halt, including all unredacted communications between FINRA, SEC, governmental agencies, any outside organizations, FINRA members and non-FINRA members, and any other individuals. Also include all information surrounding the SEC or FINRA's uh, knowledge uh, of uh, the share price uh, in any public uh, or non-public exchange before issuance uh, of uh, the youth recall. 5. Provide the first date and time that FINRA or its agents advised uh, any market participants in any manner that MMTLP would no longer trade on December the 9, 2022, include any relevant documents or communication. So, brilliant question. Next one. Did FINRA issue a blue sheet request for MMTLP during the period of October 2021 through December 2022? Why or why not? And uh, this question is dedicated to the information that we have from uh, the FOIA request that uh, FINRA blue sheeted the MMTLP activity back in December of 2022 and the period during which uh, they uh, had these records is quite uh, a lengthy period. So, next one. 7. How many questions, compliance and or inquiries have you received regarding MMTLP? And we know that the Congress already has at least 40,000 letters. And guys, don't you think that the real number of uh, questions and compliance are much higher than uh, 40,000? I think uh, the answer is yes. Next one. Provide the statutory or legal justification used by the SEC and FINRA to ignore public requests and congressional inquiries regarding MMTLP. Another brilliant question, uh, basically they are asking why did uh, Gary Gensler and Robert Cook stonewall all the efforts from MMTLP community and from Congress as well. 9. 
provide the delivery of a certified audited and consolidated count of shares that uh, were held by all U.S. and foreign financial institutions together with their clearing firm uh, counter brokers, including trades uh, not reported in the consolidated audit uh, trail related to MMTLP on the date of December 12, 2022. Please include all shares and holdings of long and short position as well as uh, IOUs held by each participating broker and market participant as record owner, beneficial owner or in any other capacity, each reported separately, including but not limited to all shares registered uh, at AST, all shares held uh, in US uh, broker dealers, all shares held offshore that were traded and never settled uh, through the appropriate clearing channels and the ability to provide the location associated with each short position identified above. And this is the crucial uh, question uh, which uh, has uh, to find out uh, the real share count. And uh, this share count will be the beginning of the end of this entire saga. So, number 10. Have all MMTLP shareholders received their NBH shares? And the answers for MMTLP shareholders is uh, no, and we know it for sure. Next one. In your, in your view, did MMTLP investors knowingly enter into a risk-taking transaction with full understanding of material information and without misleading guidance from social media or elsewhere? For example, the SEC has charged social media influencers with manipulation schemes in the past. <laughs> Quite interesting uh, question. Next one, 12. In your view, are there better ways to provide transparency and clarity regarding risk disclosures that could enhance market integrity and reduce market disruptions? For example, retail investors and experts, uh, for example, OTC Markets Group's vice president, were reportedly confused about MMTLP's final trading date. As such, investors may not have been able to optimize their investment decision. And as you can see, we have uh, number seven right here. And uh, this uh, statement refers uh, to the uh, interview that was made uh, back in December of uh, last year. And uh, in this uh, interview, the vice president of OTC Markets uh, clearly stated that uh, it shouldn't be any halts and uh, the last trading day should be December the 12th. So. Uh, do you have evidence to suggest the existence of fraud and manipulation related to MMTLP transactions, such as illegal forms or naked, of naked shorts and counterfeit shares that could distort the market? So, quite interesting to see the answer on this question. Uh, number 14. Have you seen any indications uh, of insider trading or and pump and dump related to MMTLP transactions? Another quite similar question, but we have to know the exact answer on this question as well. Next one, number 15. Are your organizations willing to work with uh, NextBridge Hydrocarbons to determine a resolution for existing shareholders? For example, some investors have expressed concern that even though their brokerage account statements include shares of NBH in their account, these shares may not have actually been delivered to their broker dealers. And this is another important uh, part, uh, why we still don't have these shares on our accounts. And the last one, identify any regulatory or le legislative gaps uh, that should be addressed to ensure the SEC, FINRA and other regulated entities may better protect investors and straighten market uh, integrity. And uh, yes, uh, this is quite generic question. The last question is quite generic. Uh, and uh, we have to know what uh, should uh, the authorities do in order to improve uh, their work. And uh, if you take a look uh, on their previous work, we can clearly see that in general, uh, these two authorities basically do nothing in order to protect the retail community, but they, they've done a lot in order to protect uh, uh, the market makers and the people with money. So. Uh, I think uh, this letter is a brilliant letter and it uh, should lead to the huge, huge results. And I want to say thank you to all of the people, all of the Congress members who signed this letter. Let me show you this uh, 
signatures uh, and you can stop uh, this video whenever you want and just uh, see who signed this letter and uh, yes in my opinion we are about to see this re resolution and uh, if uh, the uh, deadline uh, passes and uh, we will not uh, have any resolution in my opinion this uh, huge number of uh, uh, congress members will push this case forward to subpoena and subpoena is the way how we can solve this problem quite easily and uh, very very quickly so thank you for your attention and uh, if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only God wants you